Hello, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Let me know if you can hear me okay. If you want to unmute your mic and say hello. Good morning, I can hear you. Morning, Daniela. Good morning, Fernanda, Chris, Marifer. Hello, Claudia. Hopefully, everyone's mic is working. Hello, Ben. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Today, what I'd like to do uh, is, you know, yesterday I had some problems with my computer. I'm, I'm back up and running again. Uh, hopefully you guys have had a chance to take a look at some of the information in the online classroom. I'm going to share my screen and hopefully you can see my screen. In the virtual classroom, we're now under week 16. You'll notice that it states uh, here we've got uh, week 16 and 17. So this week, the rest of this week, and next week, we're going to think about progress. And hopefully you've had a chance to watch this video. It's a really good video on progress. A lot of people are critical about, uh, you know, the state of the world. And we see a lot of negativity in the news. But I think what I particularly like about this video is that he shows and gives evidence of progress over the last 30 years in terms of life, health, sustenance, prosperity, peace, freedom, safety, knowledge, leisure, and happiness, right? And it's an interesting presentation. So if you have not had a chance yet to look at it, I think this is a, a good time to do that. Um, what I want to do today one of the first activities as we start to think about progress is I'd like for to I'd like for you guys to uh, unmute your microphones and have a discussion about a particular type of progress that you want to focus on. Now I've shared a an Excel spreadsheet. If you go into Microsoft Teams under week 16, there's a, a, an Excel spreadsheet called Progress Matrix. If you open up this matrix, try to get this out of the way, you'll notice that we have one, two, three, four, five different columns. So here, what I'd like for you guys to do today is to talk about what progress is and what areas, which focus that you want to uh, focus, what, what type of progress that you want to focus on. Again, some of these examples came from the this presentation. You could think of it in terms of life and health, sustenance. You could take it from this list. You could also take it from this document. Let me open this up here. Okay, if you look at this, there's also different examples of how to measure progress that you can get some ideas from. There's a long list here, right? It could be based on happiness, right? But I'd like for you to choose a topic. And when you guys discuss your topics, the idea is that you try to focus on different topics so that you're not focusing exactly on the same topic. So like, so the whole class is not focusing on happiness, for example, that there are different topics that you want to focus on and different context. Okay, so perhaps you can focus on a particular topic that's similar to one of your classmates, but maybe the context is different. All right, and here under measurements, measurements refers to like, how is it measured? What's, how do they, do they measure it? This could be like one sentence, just a, a phrase stating, how do they measure progress? For example, how do you measure happiness, right? And 
when, when you go into your readings and, and your video, or any information online that you find, then they're going to say, they're going to show or explain how they measure that particular type of progress. Okay, so we want to look at the different ways of measuring progress. Context, think about where it is, when it is, why it is, how it is. Think of the question words, right? And you can put some information here under, under context. The topic, think about six to 12 word topic. Notice here at the top, I've included comments. So you can look at each one of these to get some ideas to, as to what to include in each one of these. But basically what I'm explaining is, is what I'm after. And then you can put which probate group that you're in, right? But this is gonna be after you guys have a discussion. And of course you can, you can put some information in here and then discuss it with your classmates. But I, I want you guys to unmute your mics and have a discussion about, about this idea of progress based on what you came across yesterday, what you read, maybe what you found in the video, what, what is of interest to you. Right, but this whole purpose of this uh, this unit on progress is to share some information that you found that relate that relates to progress. And you can think about it specifically about Mexico. If you really want to narrow it down to one country, you certainly can do that. Okay, that would be part of the context. Like, where is it? So if you're just going to talk about Mexico, okay. If you're just going to talk about a specific group of individuals in Mexico, we'll then mention that, right? So context could also include uh, to whom are you referring to, right? And it's quite possible that we have similar topics about Mexico, about a Mexican topic, but maybe different groups of people. That could also be the, the thing. But what my point here is between the topic and the context, I'd like for us to have to talk about different different aspects of progress. And again, I think the best way to do that is have to have a discussion. And we can talk about what progress is, what you found, even maybe something that you want to look more into. Let's say that you have a particular interest in, I don't know, healthcare. And you know that you need to do a little bit more investigation for finding more information. That's fine. That's something that you're interested in. That's something you can discuss with others, okay? You could say, I'm thinking about healthcare. Is anybody else interested in healthcare? Okay, what are you thinking about with healthcare? If nobody answers, well, then you know that you're the only one at this point, right? And then maybe five minutes later, somebody else will come in, hey, I'm thinking about healthcare too, but I'm thinking about, I don't know, another country or this and that. Okay, so you, you can kind of go back and forth today in the live session as you're coming up with ideas, as you're completing this matrix, this spreadsheet, so that you as a group are covering as many different topics as possible, because we're going to work similarly as we did last, last week or this week and, and our prior concept, where we're going to consolidate our ideas into one document. Okay, but again, this is just our first step, our first stage into thinking about, well, what is progress, right? And what is it that we want to share in terms of progress? All right, any questions about what we're going to do today? Okay, if there are no more questions, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. I'll be here looking at uh, this, the, the matrix as you guys are completing it. And also, I'm curious as what you guys, how you guys talk about your topics, how you decide on which topics that you want to focus on in terms of progress. Okay.
Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead uh, and repeat the instructions for today. So if you caught it the first time, that's fine. Just keep uh, continue to work. Uh, today, what we're going to do, we're starting our uh, completing a matrix for progress. All right. So hopefully yesterday you guys had a chance to uh, take a look at the video. In fact, let me open up the virtual classroom. All right, so if you haven't already, make sure that you've watched this video in the virtual classroom. It's a really good uh, presentation on the progress over the last 30 years. The speaker talks specifically about progress in the following areas, life, health, sustenance, prosperity, peace, freedom, safety, knowledge, leisure, and happiness. Now, there are different uh, categories of progress as well that you might find interesting if you open up this uh, PDF document. This is basically the wiki, a wiki website that uh, they talk about some of the same things discussed in the video, but also uh, talk about other areas of progress. So you might get some additional ideas from here as well. All right? These are just two websites, two sources to to begin looking at different areas of progress uh, and finding maybe a particular area that you want to focus on, that you want to read up and learn more about. So today, what I'd like to do is have you guys talk as a group using our live session today with your microphones to share which areas of progress you would like to work on. And as you complete this matrix, let me go back to Teams, you go to files week 16 and click progress matrix you'll find this file here where you can add your name you can add the title the topic remember the title should be six to twelve words the context and again i've added comments up here if you guys want to refer to the comments as, as uh, as notes, as additional information as to what to include in each of these. Context, think of the question word. So where does it happen or how does it happen? When does it happen? With whom? Think of the context that you would like to focus on. And then the measurements. How do they measure happiness? How do they measure safety? Right, Based on the articles or the videos that you come across, what do they say in terms of how they measure freedom or the disappearance of slavery, whatever the topic is, indicate in the matrix here under measurements, how do they measure? Then you can, you can indicate probe, right? Probe A, probe B. And talk about sorts, I'll talk about that at the end of today's live session, okay? And so today what we're doing is number one, with your microphones trying to talk to each other online to, de to determine who wants to talk about what and just to talk about your, your topic, what you think about your topic, maybe something that you've read or that you want to investigate more about. And the second, complete the, uh, complete the matrix with your name, the topic, context, and measurements, and finally, prope. One of the things to keep in mind, guys, when you're you're uh, reading about your topic and you're watching videos on your topic, I'd like for you to focus, and because still, even today, right, there are going to be problems and issues and, you know, nothing's perfect and there's going to be some issues that are related to your topic. But our focus for this week and next week is to focus more on the progress that is looking historically. And you can decide how, how far back in history you want to talk about in terms of comparing how it used to be versus how it is now. But the purpose of this activity is to focus on the positive aspects, the improvements of your particular topic, right? So progress, we want to focus mainly on 
how things have uh, become better compared to how they used to be. Even though we accept that still there are probably problems and issues, we're going to focus more on the positive, more on, again, the advancements of your particular topic. And, and you, you decide on how far back you, know, you want to go depending on your topic. Just as a reminder, guys, as you're completing the topic or the title, try to include between six to 12 words. When you're writing about the context and the measurements, try to include uh, complete sentences. Okay, it could be one or one or two or three sentences, but try to write them out as uh, complete sentences. Okay, guys, we're getting close to concluding today. Uh, I want to summarize again today's activity. Yesterday, I asked you to take a look at the video found in the virtual classroom, kind of as an introduction to progress. And also, there, there's a, a Wikipedia document also on the topic of progress, where you can also find uh, more information. But I'd like for you to choose a topic related to progress. And in this matrix that we're in today, add your name, add your title. Make sure that you include 6 to 12 words in your title. And in the context and in the measurements, this is very important, try to include a complete sentence. One of the reasons for doing this activity is to practice writing complete sentences. So we're going to need a subject and a predicate. We're going to need a subject and a verb, maybe an object prepositional phrases, maybe a complex sentence, compound sentence, but it needs to be a complete sentence. Now, you could include only one sentence, depending on your context, but probably two to three sentences is going to be uh, required if you're, if you're thinking about the different question words that relate to your context. When does this happen? When or how does it happen? With whom does it happen? Uh, et cetera. The same goes for the measurements. Think about how they measure the particular progress. How do they measure mental health, right, and what, and what you found? When you guys are finding articles and, um, and videos, you can basically look anywhere online, but I would like for you to find only resources in English, only research, uh, only articles, uh, news broadcasts, news articles that are in English only, okay? So related to English. It can be about any country, but I'd like for everything to be in English, nothing in Spanish. But in the under the measurements, include how, how it's being measured. How is the topic that you're focusing on being measured? And, and include a complete sentence, a subject and a predicate. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you include your appropriate group, and I've listed here along the right four different columns listed sorts one, sorts two, sorts three, sorts four. We don't need more than four sources for this assignment. We need at least one. And what I would like for you to do is uh, include a hyperlink. So just as an example how to do that here in Excel, you type out a word and you go back to the cell where the word is and click insert. You click, let's see, uh, where is it now? I lost it. I did it a second ago. 
here it is, link. Okay, so click insert, link, and then copy and paste the URL. Now you may have to, because it says HTTP by default, what I would do is I would select the entire uh, link here and copy and paste your link because most websites now are HTTPS. So like if I go to, let's go to my website here. Let's, as an example, let's say that here's my URL. So I'm going to copy and paste my URL. And notice it says HTTPS. Most websites, again, are HTTPS. And then I'm going to select the entire URL and paste it and OK. And now I have a hyperlink. OK, so you can include just a short word. You can even just say source one if you want. It doesn't really matter what the text says, but just to keep it, to keep it simple. Um, I would do a hypertext so that you don't have a really long link that you copy and paste it into, into the cell. Okay, so that's how you create a hypertext in, um, in, uh, in uh, Microsoft Excel. All right, so this is what we're going to uh, work on today. Try to complete as much of this as possible. Tomorrow we're going to continue the activity working on this. We're going to spend the rest of this week and next week on the topic of progress. And again, I would take advantage of our online sessions to discuss your topics. Again, we want to avoid talking about the same. So we want to have a wide variety of topics and context that we include in our discussions. Any questions about today's activity? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and conclude then. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to send me a message via chat in Microsoft Teams. And I think we'll stop there for today. All right. So enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.